Aurelia. So what I am doing, I actually decided to do a video based on a question that I got about how to pay off high debt um, regarding credit cards. And so I always like to uh, do a video based on a question that someone has because who knows, someone, may, someone else may have the same question. And so the financial calculator that I like to use that would give you a scenario of what it is that you're trying to do is, um, it's called dinkytown.net. And I've known about this calculator for almost, for over 10 years. I used to use this calculator um, when I worked um and I had my business as a financial advisor. And so what I would do is, um, you know, do all types of easy scenario, financial um, calculator scenarios with this calculator. So if you are trying to figure out the best way to pay off high debt on a credit card, um, you would go right here. And as you can see, they have all types of, um, you know, scenarios for any type of financial uh, question or, or problem that you may have. So what you would do is go to credit card. Now, there are many schools of thoughts when it comes to paying off a high balance. Some people go by, um, you know, go by the highest interest rate of a credit card. Um, myself, personally, I like to use what is called the balance method. And what is the balance method? It's basically listing out all all your credit card, um, all the credit cards that you have and having an idea, um, or should I say looking at the credit card statement to see what is the balance of each credit card. And then once you do that, um, you want to put it, put the, um, the different amounts uh, from lowest to highest. And, and the reason why I like to start with lowest to highest is because I like to teach people that the goal is, is that you want to pay off the one that has the lowest balance. Why is that? It's because I really feel like as humans, we are visual creatures and we like to see if something is working. We just need some type of of um, assurance that what we're doing is actually working. And so if you attack it with going after the smallest balance first, you'll feel like, okay, I am making some lead way. There is some light at the end of the tunnel. Now, once again, there are all types of scenarios that you can try. We have the accelerated debt payoff, consolidation loan investment, cost of debt, credit card minimum payment calculator. The list goes all on and on and on. Now, here is one that, you know, is probably the easiest one for you to um, use if you have that scenario in terms of, you know, paying something off. And it's called the credit card payoff. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the credit card payoff screen and... Um, and, and, and let's just use the scenario they have already inputted into the computer um, on, uh, should I say, the website. So right now they say they have a current balance of 2000 um, Interest rate is 17.5%. You'll get this off your credit card statement. Uh, let's say your payoff goal is to do it in a year. Um, a current monthly payment, uh, or should I say your current monthly payment on a credit card statement is 125 Now, additional monthly charges, um, we want to put zero in there because if our goal is to pay off a balance, we don't want to accumulate more debt. And let's just say we have an annual fee of $25. Now, right now, as you can see right here, um, the dark blue line is uh, the current payment at $125. And the calculator that is in the system is saying that if you want to pay it off in 12 months, that your payment should at least be a minimum of 185. So this is great if you want to have an idea of a timeline in terms of how long you want to um, take to pay it off. And then what we would do is hit calculate and I'm going to do view report. And the reason why I want to do view report, because remember what I said, we're visual creatures. We want to actually see it. So right now, this is nothing that we have to figure out on our own. The computer tells us everything. They're telling us that if we pay $184, let's round it off to $185, and that in pretty much in 19 months, or what, no, 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 
you know, in 12 months, I apologize, in 12 months, um, we would have paid it off. And this, of course, it says this assumes no additional charges such as late fees and everything. This is saying that as long as you don't get hit with any penalties, late fees or whatever, that's how long it will take. Now, it says if you keep the monthly payment at 125, it's going to take you 19 months to pay it off. So it's basically shaving off uh, about seven to six months off of your payment. And like I said, um, just, you know, j this is going to just show you, um, we're visual creatures, what it is that if we wanted, what we wanted to do. So there you go. 12 months, 24 months, 36 months, 48 months, and 52 months. I mean, 60 months. $2,000 and this actually gives us an amortization schedule and as you can see it's showing you each month how much you're paying towards interest how much you're paying towards principal and how your balance is going to um is um, being paid off so there you have it this is like I said is an easy calculator this is not a lot of times many of us been told we got to create some type of Excel spreadsheet try to figure it out ourselves this is once again right now they have all types of computer apps and 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 like I said in, in online softwares that you no longer have to do this and so I just want to point out this is some of the discussions that you know I am having with individuals who are in a personal or should I say a private and personal uh, Facebook group that I have created and so if you are interested and in wanting to be part of this Facebook group where where it's private, where you get to ask a, a lot of these questions that individuals are asking so I can be able to answer them because this is something that individuals have came to me um, for. They have asked me, you know, a lot of times I have a quick question, what's the best way for me to, you know, ask you? And this is the best way is for you to, you know, be part of this community. Like I said, all the information is under this video. It's called uh, Get Rid of Debt Collectors because that's really the area that I specialize in in terms of credit cards but this is a question that I got asked so once again I hope this video has helped you I look forward to talking to you in the next video bye bye